Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So this is season 26, and this is war number eight, and we're going up against an alliance called Winners in Real Life. Love it. Love that name. So we're going to scout out my path together here and formulate our attack. Now, I'm getting in here pretty late. You can see the time. Almost forgot, too. So most of this is already cleared. Uh, there's no defender on that first node. Then we've got Emma Frost. Uh, the mini is still up, so I'm guessing they want me to take that Nick Fury. So uh, Black Widow Clairvoyant should handle that Emma Frost. And as far as uh, Nick Fury goes, uh, she should be able to handle him as well. Yeah, um, that shouldn't be uh, too much of a problem. Uh, but most likely... I'm just going to take him with Nick Fury as well. All right. So we'll probably fight Emma Frost with Black Widow Clairvoyant, Nick Fury with Nick Fury. And then we've got this wasp here. Uh, very annoying. Preferably someone with True Strike uh, would take this wasp, but you can fight her by baiting out her heavy attacks, and then just attacking while her evade is on cooldown. You can also go in with a uh, shock immune champion like Doom. That would work also. Uh, and then on to section two, path three. And we have our favorite, Colossus. Claire handles that fight just fine. And then we've got Sentinel. Now, this one here... I have to be careful because, uh, as you can see here, they chose Protect, which, in fact, I believe that's all I've seen um, this entire season and, and I think last season, too. But I like to take Sentinel with Warlock, and that is because if we do trigger Protect... Warlock can knock him down and remove all of them. So uh, so you know what I'm talking about here. This here is the defense tactic. Here's the attack tactic. If the attacker is large or extra large, which Warlock is, and they knock down the defender, all stacks of protection from the defense tactic are removed. Otherwise, you have to uh, intercept in order to remove them. So um, Warlock is, is most likely who I'm gonna use for that fight. And then we've got Warlock up there and Warlock can do that fight. So if my Warlock is still in good shape uh, and I need to, I can do that fight with Warlock. All right, so here's Mini Boss Island. Uh, we've got Sasquatch up there Human Torch is usually who uh, counters that. Same thing with Man-Thing down at the bottom. Uh, I don't know what they're going to do uh, in terms of uh, attack here. I don't have anyone that is particularly good at these here. I mean, Man-Thing, Warlock could do it. Claire could do it. Um... That Killmonger over there, that's no bueno for me. Uh, I don't have anybody I really would want to fight him on that node with. Um, we've got Modok. That's a annoying fight as well. Uh, I don't really have anybody that I'm bringing anyway that would be a good option for that. Uh, and then over to the left here, Mysterio. Uh, that fight... I could do with uh, Nick Fury and Doom could also do that fight with Nick Fury. Uh, also, Black Widow Clairvoyant can do that fight. Uh, that can be an annoying fight, but someone who has Human Torch uh, may be the better option, especially for these mystics. 
All right, so let's get to the fighting so I can go to bed. So I'll be right back and we will continue with the fighting. All right, we're back and I'm going in with my standard team of Nick Fury, Warlock, and Black Widow Clairvoyant. Uh, I take path three in section one. And as you can see, there's no defender on that first node, which is pretty common. It's a very easy node, so people usually don't put anyone there. Uh, so my first fight is going to be against Emma Frost. Now, when I saw this fight, when I was scouting earlier, I was trying to get in my mind that this one is awakened. Because sometimes folks will place the unawakened one on defense. And I get used to fighting her awakened and the reverse controls so not sure if you are aware of it but if she's not awakened she doesn't have any reverse controls so you evade her normally but when she's awakened you have to remember to reverse your controls if you want to evade now you can just block if you want to but i usually try to evade um her specials if i can special two I'm not so good at evading that one. Uh, it tricked me for a long while because it has a projectile to it uh, where the first one, uh, her special one, doesn't. But as you can see, we were able to uh, get her down pretty quickly, pretty easily. Uh, Clairvoyant, she's a beast. I uh, love her. She's the only rank three that you'll see me bringing to war right now. Now, if I can get a, a warlock, as a six star, he's going to go to uh, rank three. And then you'll see me bringing that one into a uh, war. And I already have a six star Nick Fury. If I can get him awakened, he's going up and you'll start seeing. So I'll, uh, I have, I have at least one that I need to replace uh, Nick Fury, but I need him awakened. It doesn't matter his sig level. One dupe would do it. Uh, if I got a, uh, skill awakening gem that would do it as well oh man i hate his uh unblockable and i really need when i'm fighting nick fury pay attention a little bit more uh to his stacks now if you play it slowly you can avoid what just happened i don't tend to be a very patient uh and passive type player so i usually I'm very aggressive and I want the fast uh, fight, you know, but what you should do is if you're not fighting him with a mutant, because mutants uh, work really good against him. But if you're not fighting him with a mutant, watch his tactical charges. When they get to about nine, just start parrying him. That will reduce them. Then you can push him to a special one and then you can bait that out and it won't be unblockable. But if you do like what I, I did just here, see how many uh, he has? And he's unblockable, but he was already going down, so we were good. Uh, but you want to kind of manage uh, those. Uh, the fight will be a little bit longer. You know, it's already long because you have to, you know, deal with the decoy first. But, you know, you can do that fight uh, pretty safely. But that's why I brought in my own Nick Fury. In case I messed up, I could just go, you know, all out. Yeah, mess up, get unblockable. But you can see I defeated him and I still have the life model decoy active. That's all I need. Okay. So second section, uh, someone else already cleared uh, that node there. So now I'm going to be fighting Colossus. If you've watched my videos, you know that Colossus is a very popular one to place on this node. And you also know that Clairvoyant tears this fight up. Now, if you watched a long time ago, I actually went into this fight for, um, I think for the first time with Corvus. That was not a good time. Okay, not a good time at all. Uh, I managed to beat Colossus with uh, my Corvus, but that's a Corvus trap. Okay, you do not want to bring Corvus against this Colossus thinking, oh, I'm going to get a mutant charge because that's what I was thinking. No, won't work out so well for you, um, but I managed to do it. 
all right and um if they have chosen protection it's it's not a good time for corvus okay um but claire easy easy is easy um i don't think i've lost once with claire fighting um colossus on that node all right so he went down next up we have got uh sentinel now this is interesting I normally would want to take Warlock in, but look at the buffs. Do you notice anything different? There's no globals. There's no defense tactics. Protect, it's not there. Okay, uh, the reason to go in with Warlock would be because Warlock, um, I think he's large, extra large, um, the attacker tactic uh, against defense or against protection, if he knocks down his opponent all the protection stacks go bye bye so even if i trigger protection with warlock against sentinel i can just knock sentinel down with a heavy and get rid of all of them i have to do the dangerous intercepts uh, that's for any large or extra large champion so ideally if you're dealing with a large extra large defender you want to fight them with a large extra large attacker um, if you can so we got him down. Now, the reason that you didn't see any of the uh, defender attacker tactics is because they've already taken down the boss. Don't know if you guys were aware of that, uh, but taking down the boss, the boss is who has all of those buffs. So once the boss is down, that's it. No more protect. Okay, and you see we left Dragon Man up um, for some cheese with Ghost to take down the boss. Some uh, alliances will not even place a defender there just to make the boss more difficult, all right, against Ghost, usually. All right, so that's all of my participation in this war. Uh, we'll take a brief intermission, come back, and you'll see how this war ended. And we're back. And as you can see, we won this war. Uh, we need to keep winning our wars if we want to have a chance at Platinum 3 uh, at the end of this season. All right. Uh, I think we're on track for it, but I'm not sure. Uh, but that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought of the video, what you thought of the fighting. Uh, if you have any ideas uh on how to spice uh, the video up uh, let me know take care and you all have a blessed day